Man. Mm, mm, mm. So for the second time in the past four months, the Rams come out on top over the Ravens in the clutch. It has been announced that the Rams are signing Bobby Wagner to a five-year, $50 million deal. And it is worth up to $65 million. Um, so the base is 10 mil per year. But it could be a bit more than that. Significantly more than that. Um, if Bobby Wagner reaches his incentives. Uh, this had been a battle between the Rams and the Ravens. Back and forth. You heard that Cowboys were interested, but they fell off. You heard that there were other teams interested, but they all fell off. The most significant interest came from the Rams and the Ravens. Um, and I, I was wrong. I was wrong on two things. One, I thought that he was going to have his deal done by Wednesday. It's Thursday, so it's a day off. But more importantly, more significantly, I really thought that the Ravens were going to close this deal. I thought the Ravens were going to make this happen. I thought the Ravens were going to come out on top. Wrong about that, too. So Bobby Wagner is a Ram. And honestly, it this is not a surprise. I know everybody kept talking about, oh, he's from the he's from the West Side. And um, and then a lot I know a, there were a lot of Ravens fans just preparing themselves for the heartbreak. They, they, they were going through it and, and they were saying to themselves, I'm just going to expect him to sign with the Rams because I just I don't even want to go through. it. I don't even want to put myself through that pain. And here we are. So even though a lot of Ravens fans prepared themselves for it, it still is very painful because we pictured Bobby Wagner next to a Patrick Queen and just the possibilities and just having him a linebacker like that. But Rams, congrats. Congratulations. Because for the Rams, like it again is a hard sell. I mean, well, it's a harder sell for the Ravens than it would be for the Rams. Rams are coming off, hey, we Super Bowl champions, and you think we stopping here? You think we stopping there from last year? Oh, no, you must not know us. You think we're not going to go all in again this year? Oh, you must not know us. Oh, we just re-signed Matt Stafford to a deal. We are obviously still got Cooper Cup. Yeah, we traded away uh, Robert Woods, but we replaced him and Odell Beckham Jr. for now with an Allen Robinson. Uh, on defense, like, they have special players, at every level of the defense. Special players. You, of course, got one of, or if not the best defensive player in the game, Aaron Donald, up front. Then you got a million-time all-pro linebacker in Bobby Wagner. And then you got one of the best. Yeah, I know the Super Bowl was a little bit rough for him, but look who won, though. But you got one of the best corners in the league in Jalen Ramsey. And then you get to sprinkle in other players along the way that really complete your team and make them that much more competitive. But with the Rams, this is what they do. And you look, again, on the flip side, on offense, too. They do the same thing. At quarterback, you got a special player in Matt Stafford. Running back, you got a special player in Cam Akers. Then at receiver, you got a... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you got a special, very special player in Cooper Cup. And then Allen Robinson. So they have these special players all across their roster. So when it's time to fill in the depth pieces, it makes it that much easier for them. And this is why. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I was just for sure that he was going to become a Raven, man. I was for sure that it was going to happen, man. But mm, mm, mm. but again, with the Rams, um, he it, it was going to be very hard for the Ravens to beat whatever the Rams offered because, one, he could stay on the West Coast. Two, money. Rams always find a way. Rams do not care about salary cap. Rams realize the cap is cap. Rams don't care about salary cap. Rams don't care about draft picks. They are like, hey, we are going to go all in. We are going to make sure we do everything that we possibly can to make sure this is the best roster that we can possibly build. They don't care. They are willing to do whatever it takes, whatever it takes. So with them coming off the Super Bowl, with them being on the West Coast, with them being able to play the Seahawks not once but twice a year. With them being able to offer more money, 
it was an easier sell for Bobby Wagner to go to the Rams than it would have been the Ravens. If he would have went to the Ravens, that the biggest thing they could have told him, hey, we, we built on defense. You know how much we care about defense. You would probably be the best linebacker that we had since Ray Lewis. How about that? That would be the biggest thing Ravens could sell him on because it wouldn't have been the money. It wouldn't have been. And again, I, I remember the, when the report came out, oh, yeah, Bobby Wagner wants one year 11 mil. I knew the Ravens weren't going to do that. I knew that if the Ravens were going to sign him, it was going to be a multi-year deal. That's what it was going to be, a multi-year deal. But, yeah, Rams, <laughs> they, they certainly got him on a multi-year deal. Um, but, yeah, that multi-year deal is uh, worth a whole lot of money, man. whole lot of money. So, Ravens lose out again on yet another uh, free agent. Um, and when somebody's forced to make a decision between them and somebody else, the free agent goes elsewhere. So, now... What'll it be? Well, the Rams, they, again, the rich, like Richard Sherman said. Well, you know what? Let's read Richard Sherman. Let's read what he said. Because, of course, last night we all remember he announced that big Bobby Wagner news was, was on the way. But then he announced, he said, the rich get richer. Oh, and if that ain't the truth, I don't know what is. The rich get richer? Oh, yeah. Richard Sherman knows. He knows. He Oh, he, he knows. He knows. <laughs> He gets it, man. Richard Sherman gets it, man. But he said, the rich get richer. <sighs> he said, they lose future Hall of Famer Von Miller and gain future Hall of Famer Bobby Wagner. The Ravens made a last-minute push, but the reigning champs, the Rams, were too good to pass up. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. You know, I saw uh, Tony Jefferson... Um, Saw him troll. Well, I thought he was trolling because I know there were some Ravens fans going back and forth with him yesterday. And he was like, oh, it's not looking good for us. They were, they were talking about uh, Bobby Wagner. And he, he put up a gift saying it's not looking good for us. And I was like, oh, he, he just trolled him. Nah, he, he just, nah. Nope. Nope. I, I really thought he was joking. But nope. So, man, this is... Uh, <laughs> I don't even know y'all Man I, I, I can't lie I am hurting a little bit I, I am hurting a little bit Because this was one that I was looking forward to For sure man I was looking forward to this one as a Ravens fan For sure Happy for the Rams They, they got a real good player and, and one of the reasons that I just Well we, we could talk about that in the Ravens video This is about the Rams I gotta give them their, uh, their credit And give them their respect um, Cause again like we said earlier they they play to win. Uh, they build that roster to win right here, right now. Rams ain't worried about, oh, we ain't worried about 2023. We ain't worried about 2024, 25. No, we are trying to win in 2022. They showed again last year, 2021. Again, I take you back. Odell Beckham Jr. gets cut. The Rams, they got Cooper Cup. They got Van Jefferson. He's straight to, but the Rams, they looked at it. Oh, Odell Beckham Jr., a free agent? We, what? He, he can be signed and we can come up with our own contract for Odell Beckham Jr. What? Oh, man. Even though we have some good receivers, even one of the best receivers who is having a historic season, even though we have that already, let's add to it a, a high-quality player. Even though we have a guy who's probably having one of the highest-quality seasons ever at wide receiver, let's still add a high quality player and they did that with Odell Beckham Jr. Then on the flip side again oh rumors about Von Miller possibly being oh he's available Von Miller's on a trade block oh really is he now oh mm, you know what we have somebody who a lot of people consider the best defensive player ever and if not ever the best defensive player since Lawrence Taylor we have a guy, for sure Hall of Famer, for sure baller, straight up dominant at his game. And he has been literally every single year that he's been in the league. And Aaron Donald, we have that already. Oh, Von Miller's available? Do we need him? No. But are we going to go for him? Yes, because 
he's available. We're going to try to add a high-quality player, even though we already got high-quality on the defensive line. Let's not stop there. Let's not settle. Let's really go all in and show that we are really trying to do this thing and make it happen. Love the Rams' approach. Love how they do it. Not mad that they got Bobby Wagner because, again, Rams continue to show they are all in. Team, keep it clean. We out.